what's up welcome back to my channel this video is a bit different because i'm not a health food channel i am none of that i'm just a regular old channel and a girl who cooks but i have been inspired inspired by this comment left on my facebook group because i want to help everybody if i can well i decided to do a low carb challenge how many meals can i get for around 50 bucks that are low carb now, before we go any further, just listen, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I know nothing about nothing. The only way I found out any information about this is by Google. <laughs> so, if some of this isn't right, just, you don't have to tell me. You don't, you don't have to tell me. Just tweak it for yourself if it's not right, you know, because Google's at fault here. Google said 150 carbs to 51 carbs per day is considered a low carb diet. 50 and under is considered keto. I am not doing a keto. I am doing simply low carb. Okay, so 150 to 51 carbohydrates per day is considered low carb, according to Dr. Google. So that's what I went by when I did this. Another thing, my serving sizes for my family are just enough food. Okay, this kept our tummies full. Honestly, we didn't get, let me ask, hold on. People! Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Children, I have to ask you a question. The food that I've made over the past couple days, have you been full all day? Uh, yes. You've not yep. been lacking, hungry, I'm starving. No, no. Okay, so we have stayed full. I knew I personally stayed full with all this, but I was just making sure they stay full. Some people said that our serving sizes are too small. They are not. We actually eat over the recommended serving suggestion, which you're not technically supposed to do, but we do. But people still say our servings are too small and they need more. So if you're one of those people who need more because your diet, I understand people's diets or health issues can make them have to eat more. My sister, Caitlin, she's like that. She has to eat more calories than we do because her body burns it up really fast. So if you need more food, need more calories in this, adjust it to fit your family. But I know what my family needs. I know what we can handle and I'm not gonna waste food by giving them more food than they can eat. And I am not gonna purposely give them more food so they can overeat. You know, I know what their bodies can handle. I've I've raised them since birth. I know what they can handle, right? Okay, so just adjust according to your family. But without any further ado, oh, one more thing. I'm sorry, blabbermouth broke today. Walmart, I did a pickup delivery order thingamabob. Um, they totally messed up my order. Totally, they substituted the weirdest stuff when I had no substitutions clicked. It was awful. So I had to get some refunds. I had to go back to the store and get some things. And I had to rethink things as I was getting stuff because they were sold out of what I needed. It was a mess. <laughs> so I want to show you what I got in this next clip here. But I'm going to put my total here of what I spent. Now, y'all know I have chickens. So I use my own chicken eggs, but my local Walmart sold eggs 18 count for $2.66. I'm using my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna add that to this total. There we go. That's what we got. I'm gonna show that down. <laughs> I do have one issue, Walmart. I did this in a delivery order and I click no substitution. They gave me a substitution. And this substitution is a rhinoculus. I ordered low-carb tortillas, the big ones, so I can make tortilla bowls for taco salads. They substituted it with tiny tortillas, tomato basil. Ew, for I don't, that would be good on a wrap. Not a taco so i'm gonna get my money back on this and i do have to run to the store and get the ones i actually wanted i did get a refund on this it told me to keep or donate but i'm gonna go i have to run out today to my p.o box so i'm gonna stop and get the real ones but anyways here we go we have some strawberries carrots squash 
zucchini, tomatoes, lettuce. This was a substitution. Okay, no substitutions. It was supposed to be regular. But we got some mixed veggies, chicken, ground turkey, rust, cauliflower, veggie tots. And let me explain the veggie tot situation. I was looking for the lowest carb for like a side like this. And sweet potato fries were 23 grams of carbohydrates. Regular fries were 22 grams of carbohydrates. These veggie tots, it says, where is it? At? These are 15. So that's why I got the veggie tots. Not completely homemade, but hey, sometimes you can't do everything homemade. And this was a lot less than potatoes. We have some flat out bread. Pretend these are the real ones that I needed. <laughs> um, the cheddar smoked sausage, mozzarella cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. I just realized they forgot to give me my pasta sauce. It wasn't in my order and I paid for it. But that gone. <sighs> Gotta fix that. Um, real bacon pieces, some Chipotle ranch. The carbohydrates on this was two grams compared to five in the diet dressings. This is three. Crazy to me. Four cans of chicken breast. And I am going to be using my own chicken eggs, but I did add that into the total. And I am missing Hunt's spaghetti sauce, and they charged me for it. So, I have to contact Walmart on that to get a refund. So that's great. Walmart pickup lately has been so bad. Why did I do this to myself? I just didn't want to go into a store. But now I'm going to have to go into a store anyways. To get the stuff they forgot. Oh! <laughs> but it's fine. But I'm feeling good about this. And the stuff that I have planned. I'm excited. Because if it is as good as I'm thinking it's going to be. It might go in regular rotation. Yeah. We got some hibachi planned. I love hibachi. I will be using a few of my pantry items. And I, like I've said before, I advise everyone to have a little bit in their pantry so they can have seasonings and things like that. But I'm going to go get dressed for the day. I'm going to make lunch and then I'm going to fix the issue that I have with my order. So everything will be good after that. This is what I'm doing for good old lunch. This meal will go a lot further and could be multiple lunches but we have five people in our family so i'm gonna be putting one away and it'll be a random lunch for somebody someday this week so i'm taking the flat out and the smoked sausage and these veggie tots and i'm making lunch last night we let the record go okay i'll be using Three of the, well, two and a half of these. So what you do. By the way, we make this just because it's good. It just being low carb is a plus. I'm gonna put one half of this back into here and use it or the random lunch one day. We have all that left over and we'll be making other things with it. So total carbohydrates for one of these. Nine plus six, what's that? 15 carbohydrates. I'm gonna bake these in the oven for about 10 minutes on 375, 400. All right, and I'm gonna be baking these cauliflower tots. They have bacon and cheese on the inside, so that's cool. Um, also to go with this meal, I'm gonna be slicing up a little bit of strawberries or carrots. I'll let everybody pick if they want strawberries or carrots. I'm gonna save this one for a random other meal. And here's everybody's lunch. We have a baked better cheddar wrapped in a flat wrap, 
a serving of the cauliflower bacon and cheese tots, and a serving of strawberries. Total carbohydrates, 32.9 for the whole plate. Protein, 17 grams for a whole plate. Mm -hmm. mm. Surprisingly good. What was that again? Uh, cauliflower, cheese, bacon, tots. <laughs> it's a mouthful. We have to buy those. Mm. Oh. It's always good. Mm. Yeah. So is that a winner winner? Oh, most, most definitely. So you're the one who read all the stuff. It said for the whole plate, it's 32.9 grams of carbohydrates. Is that good? From what I read, it is. Okay. And it's tasty, too. <laughs> Honest, guys. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Margaret. So, as you know, Walmart messed up my order. I went to the store to get everything fixed. I didn't get any spaghetti sauce because I thought, you know what? I don't need that spaghetti sauce, so I just got a refund on that. But I got the tortillas that I needed, and I got an extra bag of rice cauliflower. Tonight, we're going to be making homemade hibachi. I'm using my chicken eggs, chicken, squash, zucchini. Instead of rice, we're going to be using rice cauliflower and mixed veggies. I'm going to be using some pantry seasonings as well, soy sauce, garlic powder, things like that. The first thing I'm going to do is cut up my zucchini and squash. What I like to do when I'm making squash or zucchini for hibachi, I cut out the seeds. I'm gonna feed this to my chicken so it doesn't go to waste. But I notice it's more firm and less slimy. <laughs> I got this all sliced up and I'm gonna put this in a bowl to give my chickens. Whoop, set it to the side. Next, I'm gonna prepare the chicken. By the way, this is a pound of chicken tenders. The serving size of chicken is four ounces, so this will easily feed a family of four. We are a family of five, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be making Colin chicken nuggets because he won't eat this. <laughs> <clears throat> whisking up three eggs to begin with just so these will be ready i'm going to be using chicken bouillon there are no carbs in this so this should be fine butter no carbs in this either is butter a carb is butter a carb <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> this is going to be a big pan so i'm using a little bit of butter i'm going to be using my easy onion zero carbs you can use onion powder i just have this so i'm using this squirting a little bit in there i'm also going to be using some garlic boom stir it around for a minute let it get all cooked and the aroma starts filling the air after it's cooked for like a minute, add your veg. By the way, y'all, I'm doing this the same way I would regular hibachi, so I hope it works. Okay. Now, I wanna add my rice. That's both bags. 
at this point, I am going to shake some chicken bouillon on top of that cauliflower to give it a little oomph. I'm not going to be adding any salt to this because this is salty. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of sesame oil. No carbs in this. A little bit of low sodium soy sauce. This has one carb per tablespoon. I'm gonna use two tablespoons. Now we're gonna fry this up. Let's do some garlic powder. We're gonna be putting some ground ginger in this. I get mine at Royal King. This is like a dollar bag. It's awesome. for my eggs. A dollop of butter for the eggs. Add them eggs. Three eggs total, in case you forgot. rice is done. I want to set it to the side and start cooking my chicken. Butter. Okay, with this chicken, I'm going to start out the same way. A little bit of this onion or onion powder. A bit of garlic. A little bit of sesame oil. And soy sauce. Garlic powder and a pinch of ginger. Okay, my chicken is done. I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna cook the zucchini and squash in the same skillet. Boom. I'm just going to season these up with some garlic powder. And a little pepper. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to deglaze the pan. Get that flavor in there. Let this cook for a couple more minutes. And then we'll plate it up. Each plate has two servings of the fried rice. One serving of the zucchini and yellow squash, and one serving of chicken. As you guys already know, Kylan is eating nuggets and carrots because <laughs> he doesn't like peas, cooked carrots, so it's just easier for me. This is real life. This is what she looks like. That looks like real rice. I did the math on this. Total carbohydrates in one plate 
this whole meal, 19.2. Protein is 45.48 grams of protein in this. All right, guys. Braden's going to give this a go to let you know what he thinks. Braden, please be 100% honest with everyone. That's so good. Can you tell that's cauliflower and not rice? Mm-hmm. I need a little bit. Okay. I'm going to get Ryder in here. He's more judgmental. Now, be 100,000% honest. I mean it, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can't tell the difference. Really? Mm -mm. You guys heard it. Also, before I go for today, um, I just want to say I am adding all of the, the carbohydrates and the protein up myself by hand, according to what the back of the bag say. He's a hardworking man, everyone. He was like, everybody's going to see me sweaty. And he works. Anyways, um... <laughs> Tell me how it is, babe. Mm. Can you tell that that's not rice? What? That's cauliflower. Oh. You didn't know? No. That's a low carb meal for the video I'm doing. That's 19.2 grams of carbs in that whole plate. That's 19.2 grams of awesome, then. I think it's so good, I think I'm going to keep doing it that way. Mm. Yeah, it is really good. It's not no, honey, that is not rice. Mm. Well, then, imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> it's Ross cauliflower. Mm, it's good. We're just going to have omelets for lunch today. lunch easy peasy as i think i made a short on these before these got really popular like back in quarantine and i love them so do the kids for each can of chicken breast you take an egg and a half cup of cheese mix it together pat it out and you have your homemade chicken nuggets so we're going to be making homemade chicken nuggets and we're not just going to be eating chicken nuggets. I want to cut up some veggies and we're going to have wraps with chicken. Yum. Let's do it. Ooh, that's actually about two cups of cheese. So I'm going to put half of this in a Ziploc bag. No, I'll use the other half of this to sprinkle on the wraps. Yeah. I'm putting in a cup of cheese. Saving this for the wraps. And I'm gonna drain my chicken. And I'm going to add both cans of chicken. Crack two eggs. Well, darn. I got three egg yolks in here. It'll work. I didn't, that one wasn't very big. Usually the double yolkers are gigantic. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of salt. Pepper. And that's all I'm going to add to mine because they're good like this. If you want to add more seasonings, go right ahead. Okay, now I'm just going to. Shred up this chicken and mix everything together. And you can use any cheese with this too. If you don't like cheddar, 
Use anything you like. I bet Pepper Jack would be really good in it too. Give it a little more oomph. <laughs> I'm gonna bake these on 400 for 10 minutes. Take them out, flip them, and then do 10 more minutes. Oh yeah. We ought to do the up close. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna save this for the wraps, like I said. I'm gonna wrap up my leftover cheese. We're gonna use this for other things. I have carrots on the side. We're putting lettuce in the wrap. Tomato in the wrap with cheese. We're gonna have a choice of Chipotle ranch or regular ranch. And wraps, I'm gonna be using the flat apps. And yes, you could have a wrap with just chicken, but the commenter who inspired me for this video said she needed high protein, so I'm trying to add protein where I can, and those Cheeto, Cheeto, <laughs> those Keto chicken nuggets, they are full of protein, so it's a plus. About this, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it while I'm waiting on the chicken nuggets. Some people ask, um, why do we like a lot of YouTubers like when they're doing these emergency or extreme grocery budgets? What budgets <laughs> and talk? Why do they put 60 meals for $20 when it's like four days worth of food? The reason I do that is because not everybody is a family of five. So, what's one dinner for us could be two dinners for a smaller family. So that's why I do it that way. Because if we're going to be having five wraps tonight. But if you're a family of two or three, this could be two nights of dinner. It can go a lot further than it can go for us. So that's why I do my titles that way. So y'all see my double yolk, right? I showed you my double yolk and it was more runny than it needed to be. Well, because it was more runny than it needed to be. Egg. This happened. We have egg patty. Nuggets cooked in the middle of the egg. You know what? This is real life. This is what happened. I want to do another round of these nuggets, and I want to do it the correct way, and I'm going to make sure to get the tiniest eggs when I do it so there's no double yolk issue. But it's, it's fine. These are going to be good still. All right. <laughs> they look so funny because they're not supposed to look like that. I will do the correct version later. But here's the wraps. And we have a side, a half a serving of carrots because one serving of carrots was a lot. The whole bag fed five people and I just cannot. But anyways, each, Kylan's just getting the nugs. He wanted cheese and he's getting carrots. So each one of these plates right here has 28.55 carbohydrates with no dressing and 26.25 grams of protein per plate. Now, when we add dressing to this to make the wrap, it's going to add two to three carbs, depending on which dressing we use. But there we go. Five more meals. And Colin's little things. I swear, that's so funny the way that happened. And there it is. Let's wrap it up. Let's look at her. Let her give that wrap a go. Mm. That's really good. Thanks, homie. It's bright, bright. Let's go. Oh. oh no! He just dropped lettuce on my foot. Mmm. Good? I love that. Woohoo! I don't know which end the store at. That's a cheesy end. That's a gooey end. Start with everybody you want. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm. Mm. Okay, Kaka. 
try the homemade chicken nuggets. Okay. Mm. Oh, he fainted, y'all. Okay, you see this is unopened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 10 in here. It says eight, but there's 10. So that's cute. Okay, so we had a hankering for pizza, but I didn't have any sauce because, you know, Walmart kind of dropped the ball on that. But anyways, I decided to make cheese sticks. Who doesn't love a good cheese stick? And we're going to put some bacon on there. So I'm shredding my cheese and I'm topping the tortillas with cheese <laughs> and then bacon. And I'm baking those in the oven for around five to eight minutes. Here's lunch. It is cheese sticks with bacon, and we have strawberries on one side. Cut up the rest of those berries. Do a taste test on those cheese sticks. Oh, he fainted, and y'all can see my dirty dishes again. <laughs> For dinner tonight, we're going to be making some tacos. Taco salads. I'm going to get the rest of that lettuce out. Well, maybe not all of it, but I'm going to get the lettuce out, chop it up, chop up some cheese, and we're going to bake these into the shape of a bowl. This is how I'm going to make them into a bowl. Because I don't have one of those cooker things. Oh, I'm starting to cook up that ground turkey. And I'm going to make this into taco meat. All right. I'm going to start shredding up some of this cheese. I'm going to shred a cheese. Over here, I chopped up most of that lettuce. I have, like, maybe a wedge this big left. Okay. I've got some of my pantry taco seasoning and the ground turkey. I have baked tortillas. These have already got lettuce in them. I'm letting these cool down before I put lettuce in there. Ooh. Okay, here are mine, brighter, brain and dusties. And we're gonna put some of that Chipotle ranch over top. Collins, he's not getting it, just a big bowl of cheese. But I'm gonna make him little cheese taco roll-ups. We do still have a tortilla left over. And I could have made Colin one of these easily. It's just that he asked for this, and as long as he's eating, it's fine by, it's fine by me. Okay, for these little cheese taco roll-ups, I'm going to sprinkle cheese in the bottom of this and let it melt and get crispy. Try to make it best I can into a circle. <laughs> okay, just let that melt and I'm gonna let it get crispy. Okay, she looks like this. She's crusty on the bottom. She's melty on the inside. We'll put top of the meat and I'm going to roll it up. And there's Kylan's little tacos made out of cheese. And it has still cheesy on the inside. We'll see how he likes those. And to these, the serving size is two tablespoons. Before anybody asks, no, my children are not on a diet. I'm not on a diet, Dusty isn't. We're just showing Everybody how to do low carb on a budget if they're low carb. Boom, and there she is. Ryder, how do you think it looks? It looks nice. And that's a lot in there, if anybody's wondering.
Pretty good. Thanks. Here, Kylan. Make my homemade taco shells. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. Give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. Thanks. Okay, everybody, I will put the total carbs and protein here. Mm. Hello, everyone. This is the last meal of this video. And usually on these videos, when I do the last meal, it's just me putting random stuff together with the ingredients I have left. So let's take a look at what I have left. So this is what we have left. One egg out of those 18. Two cans of chicken breast. A half a bag of carrots. A little wedge of this lettuce. And when I made those um, cheese sticks, I had a little wedge left over that I saved just for this. We have both dressings left, so this can go over into the next round of food. We have one tortilla left and one and a half flat outs left and one better cheddar left. So this is just a smorgasbord night, but it's going to be low carb. So y'all seen when I made those homemade keto chicken nuggets, how I put, they snuck a double yolk in me. That sounded weird. They snuck a double yolk into an egg and it didn't look like the usual double yolks. So it was more runny than usual. But I will say that it was bomb.com, even though I had extra egg in it. But I'm gonna use these and that egg and that leftover cheese and we're gonna make waffle chicken patties, keto style. I'm gonna slice up the rest of this, I'm gonna call it cabbage lettuce. I think we're just gonna do raw carrots because we like raw carrots better than we like cooked. You could definitely cook them and make carrot fries or something, but we really like raw carrots. And I'm going to make that last better cheddar. We'll see. Well, let's just do it. Let's do it to it. Okay, I'm gonna put like this much of the cheese in here. It's not, it's a regular. I'm gonna drain both cans of this chicken. Don't do that. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and some pepper. Okay, okay. and start crushing up this chicken breast and mixing it thoroughly. When I do that, I will see you next to the waffle maker. We made again waffle maker. Just gonna put a little butter on it so it don't stick. I mean, it shouldn't anyways, but you never know. Okay, let's make a waffle chicken patty. Waffle maker is waffling. I want to use this, the rest of this little bit of cheese and make a small cheese quesadilla. All right, so what I want to do, I'm actually going to make this in the oven because I'm going to bake that better cheddar in a flat out and I don't want to dirty it. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep an eye on it and I'm going to flip it. So here it is, I'm going to put it on a pan. And if you guys don't like raw carrots, you could surely make these into fries, put a little seasoning on them. Maybe like a little spritz of olive oil or something and air fry them, you can make carrot fries. We just really like raw carrots. And it's the only way Colin eats carrots. So if he eats it, I'm gonna make it that way. And you guys may have noticed he didn't eat a lot of the same things as us during this video. I'm not gonna fight with him to get him to eat things that he doesn't want to eat. That's not how I do it here. So I am knowingly, as I'm cooking, I'm gonna make him something that I know he's gonna eat. And here is the last smorgasbord low carb dinner. The, somebody, somebody is getting a wrap with the chicken patty, some lettuce, and I put a little bit of carrot in there so it could be like a salad wrap and some carrots on the side. This is that cheese quesadilla, but it has a chicken nugget in it on both sides and some carrots on the side. And this, I would like to call this a McChicken without the bun. We got it on a bed of lettuce and we have some mayonnaise. Well, they can use the ranch or Chipotle too. 
and put over top with a side of carrots. This, Colin's already got dibs. He said he wanted that. And he's got the last better cheddar with a side of carrots. And another bunless McChicken. Okay, first up, we got Ka. Hello, look, we got carrots and we got a better cheddar in a wrap. Mmm. <laughs> no. You don't want ranch to dip it in? You know what? Go a little bit rare. Okay, Braden wants ranch on his. He got the little quesadilla. There you go. Okay, give it a go. Ryder, you putting chipotle on yours? Mm -hmm. Ryder wanted the wrap, so he's putting chipotle on it. Mm. Is it good? That's really Is good. Is that enough food to keep your tummy full? Mm -hmm. All right. Go on. Okay, Ryder. Before. Oh. <laughs> you like those things? Do you want me to make these more often and not just for video? Yes. Okay. Now, I do have a question for you. The last couple days, have you had enough food? Yeah. So, I was thinking it's because of all the extra protein we're eating because I've been full too. Crazy. But last night's dinner, the taco salad, did you keep full? So, you've not, you're not telling the world if you're starving or not. I'm not starving. <laughs> I do have another question because I don't know the answer to this. Have you been snacking the past few days? Because I haven't. No. Okay. Just curious. Dusty's busy, so I'm going to try the bunless McChicken. And I really think I want to do mayo on this. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I can eat this whole thing. It's just, I've been staying full. I swear, I think it's all that extra protein. That's good. I swear. I could eat this all the time. I put aside 20 bucks for this video because I didn't know how we would stay full with all of this, minus the carbs and things. And I was prepared to go to the store in the middle of this video and get more stuff just to make it through. I didn't have to. That protein really does work. So that was it. That's what I did for a low carb emergency food budget. It actually wasn't that hard. I've noticed, and Google said this too, the whole thing with low carb diets is just to substitute. But I did notice that a lot of the substitutions were more expensive than the regular substitutions. Because normally when I spend this much money on food, I get at least five to six days out of it. But this is totally fine. When you have to eat this way, that's not a lot of money to spend on this amount of food. I think that's pretty good. And we don't do breakfast. So I didn't do breakfast. I was trying to make this as realistic as possible. And this food kept us full. It really did. I want to say that it's because of like the extra protein we got. Because we haven't been like snacking hardly at all. But it's been keeping us full a lot longer. I'm kind of amazed and I kind of like this way of cooking because it keeps us full longer and we don't get hungry as quick and I love it. And I'm going to be honest with you, the past five days I have lost six pounds and I've been full. And I haven't, I'm not intentionally losing weight and I'm sure a lot of that has to do with water weight too because when people start eating differently their body sheds water. So Google says, but I did. <laughs> six pounds. I'm not complaining. But I did, so it works. And I've had a lot more energy too, and my sleep has got better. I guess carbs just weigh me down or something, I don't know. But we enjoyed it, and I'm gonna do a few more videos like this because this way of cooking wasn't bad. And it wasn't really all that different when I got the substitutions down. Maybe I didn't do it perfectly, but I did lose six pounds. Which you're not supposed to lose a ton of weight in a week. That's like a lot for that amount of time. But it was water weight more than likely. It was not fat. But it was water weight. It helped me share that extra water I was bloating with. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering now. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope I did it right. 
If I didn't, it's fine. Just tweak it to make sure it is right. But I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Remember, as always, stay positive, stay kind, be happy. Peace out.